Welcome to this new video in which I'll show you how to automate the creation of Google Analytics reports without an API, so in a very simple way with Automark. For this template, I'm using a Google Sheet in which I have four columns. The first column concerns the domains I want to use to create my analytics reports. And then I get three values, the, uh, the number of users, the number of new users, and the engagement time. And I want to retrieve these values for a defined period that I've created in Automa, which is the previous month. I want to retrieve, here we are, I'm at the beginning of the month, I want to create a report for the previous month. So in fact, in Automa, I've specified in what we call global data, which are dynamic data, accessible at any time during a template. I determined a start value, the beginning of my report, the first June of my report, and end, the end of my report, the 3rd of June of my report. This way I can easily target date ranges in Google Analytics. So in my Google Sheet, I only get three values. This is just for the demo, but you can add as many values as you need to use. You need to use, the principle is the same. What I'm about to show you is how to extract data with Automa on Analytics. It's the same for any value, so feel free to to complete this model, in quotation marks, this example, to add all the values you need to create your own reports for your own sites or for the sites of your sites. So here we go, demonstration. Here we are on the right date range and we retrieve the data for each site mentioned in the Google Sheet. And there it is in my Google Sheet. I've retrieved all the desired values, i.e. users, new users, length of commitment for all sites. So you see with just one click, I was able to automatically create a report for all the sites mentioned in the Google Sheet. So it took, as you can see, a few seconds, a few dozen seconds, how this template works. So first of all, I'm going to open Google Analytics. Then I'm going to read, well, my Google Sheet, so, whose ID is entered in the global data found here. So, with the spreadsheet ID, the mustache syntax, i.e. between double braces, first the data source. The data source can be a variable, a Google Sheet, or a loop. In this case, it's global data, period, the one I've named, spreadsheet ID. Then, in this Google Sheet, I go to the Report tab here and retrieve the columns from A. So, the column, so in reading, all I need is this. I give a reference to this Google Sheet configuration, which I call Domains. And I'll use it behind to create a loop that will allow me to read like this every line of the Google Sheet. So, my loop is based on a Google Sheet, the one whose reference is uh, domains. So here we go. It's going to read, well, every line of the Google Sheet. And then I'm going to, first of all, first step, I open this. Then I search here the domain. So that is, I click on uh, here. Next, we're here. So I enter the domain in search field. So there's this value in CSS. And to enter dynamically, well, the value I have in my Google Sheet, in this case, catch arena, for example, mustache syntax, therefore, data source, loop data. This time it's a loop. Which one? The one whose ID is domains loop, which I've defined here. And since we're in a Google Sheet, I'll specify that it's entitled column, which column I want to read, the domains column. So, we're in the first iteration of the loop, in the first execution of the loop. So, in this case, it's catch arena. So, I enter this. 
then well I simply wait here for the result to be displayed so hop voila so I wait for this to appear then I click it and so this is the action here I wait a second to make sure that my click has been taken into account then I I use a browser event block to make sure that the loading has finished loading in which case I retrieve well the URL here behind I use a variable rejects block to retrieve well the property ID here as you can see I retrieve this ID here's what I do well I use this ID to modify the URL so as to inject the values I'm interested in that is specify well which analytics analytics page I'm interested in and also which data I'm interested in because without this property ID I can't properly target my report so here I inject in fact all that I retrieve the analytics URL I inject my property ID so the URL after with different options the start date the end date and then the report I'm interested in and so which brings me well here from here I begin to feed well my data ie I've created a table in Automa which in fact has the same structure as my Google sheet because at the end to update the Google sheet Automa does what it will copy and paste of the Automa table into Google sheet quite simply so here I feed the first domain column I simply recall the domain here which means that in my logs I can see what my Automa table looks like so here table you see the Automa table has been fed and shows exactly what we have here so what does Automa do he takes all this copies it at the end paste it that's all no more no less so I feed my Automa table with the URL of the site and then I start to extract well the data I'm interested in so users new users and length of engagement so to target the right CSS selectors I use automatics element selector element selector and then I analyze well I go up I go down I analyze until I find what I'm interested in so I'm not going to go into too much detail that's not the point of this video there I'm retrieving so I target the right element to retrieve this value the users once I've retrieved it I inject the value into my Automa table in the user column and then same principle with new users I target the right element in CSS I add it to the table same thing with the commitment period and at the end well I've got all my data back so I've reached the end of my loop loop which means I'm going to start again back to the beginning here which means I'll go to the next line and perform exactly the same actions once I finished all that I go out and come to update my Google sheet so my copy paste from the Automa table to Google sheet so basically the same configuration except we're not in get spreadsheet we're in update spreadsheet same tab against the columns this time I'm not just going to update column A I'm going to update columns A to D so that's what I'm specifying here and the source of my data for the update is the table and that's it so you see with uh, roughly about 15 blocks you can automate the creation of Google Analytics reports for your own sites for your customers for whatever you want and if you want to add other data in the table the principle is the same you target the right page you target the right value with get text blocks and that's how you'll be able to retrieve all the data you want and have automatic reports on the extra date ranges you want you'll find this template in my Automa training so you can analyze and test it for yourself you may not have understood everything that's normal I assure you this was not a training video but a demonstration because the aim of my training course is precisely to to gradually teach you how to master Automa so that you'll be comfortable using on all templates did you like this video please feel free to like comment and share it that's what keeps me going 
And if you have any ideas for templates for future videos, let me know in the comments. And of course, if you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe to my channel.